the San Joaquin County Office of Education presenting the findings of the fiscal crisis and management assistance team audit at a Stockton Unified School District board meeting on Tuesday. It was an overwhelming amount of disappointment in the way that our previous board leadership had led our district. Angel Ann Flores is the president of the board, only taking on the role in December and was previously a board member. What a disadvantage for our kids um, and sad that grown adults would come into our district and take money that really didn't belong to them. In February of 2022, the County Office of Education agreed to the audit following reports of irregularities and unusual circumstances with an IAQ distribution contract and the use of federal funds. I was the one who actually requested the FICMAT audit to come in and audit our district because I seen the amount of illegal activities taking place and I was in the minority. So they made sure to silence me. In a letter to the board, County Superintendent Dr. Troy Brown saying FIGMAP has recently completed its audit report and concluded there is sufficient evidence to demonstrate that fraud, misappropriation of funds and or assets or other illegal fiscal practices have occurred. The Fiscal Crisis Management Assistant Team is an outside independent um, agency. Uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, it's a statewide agency and it specializes uh, in this kind of thing. The vice president of the board, Kanitha Stevens, says she knew there was mishandlings of the funds prior to joining the board. Well, I've heard the rumblings. I've been in board meetings. We've raised the alarm. We've um, said things to leadership, but yet it continued to happen. Um, so it is problematic. Her goal, along with Flores, is to make sure the students and staff get what they deserve. We're making sure that we do the right things. We're listening to our families, listening to our stakeholders, making sure that we connect with the county and also legal. So we're in a lot of meetings all the time to make sure that we get it right um, and to make sure that we have leadership that's going to support and do the best for our kids. That audit has been forwarded over to the San Joaquin District Attorney's Office and last night during that meeting, the county superintendent offering recommendations, including reviewing policies and procedures for the district, as well as ethics training for all board members. In Stockton, Denika Hill, KCRA 3 News. And last summer, a grand jury report gave the Stockton Unified School Board a failing grade in public trust.